Attention everyone, I would like to make a toast to the man of the hour. And for once, it's not me. <laughs> no, this man right here has taken the last five years of his life to become San Diego's newest senior newscaster. Now, I know he's had a little help because most of his jokes come from me. <laughs> but tonight we're gonna toast this man. So everybody give it up for Gary Green. How you doing, Bradley? Oh, what's up, detective? Oh, what do you know about the victim? Well, she's uh, nothing sounds small. She's female, she's in her mid-20s. Uh, her name is Alice Downing. She's an acrobatics coach and a part-time student. Uh, she's actually working around the corner in a circus performance. Looks like our night off. Just got turned on. Turned on. Kind of like this mag light here. Found this nearby. I don't know about you, but she put up one hell of a fight, that's for sure. Now, I put the time of death to be sometime last night. Do we have any suspects? Uh, no suspects, but when we came across the body, we found her phone. It was actually still in video mode recording. Except when we touched the screen, unfortunately, for some reason, it just shut off. Hi, I'm Anthony. And I don't want to sound too pretentious, but I'm kind of magical. Really? Is that your best blank stare? Tough crowd. How about this? Looking good there, Slick. Let's do this. Hello? Hello? Is anybody in there? Nice to finally see you in the flesh. Well, let's go. Whoa. Hey, you look a lot different than your profile pic. Is it your hair? Is it... Whoa. Is that a rash? Ooh, I would stop scratching that if I were you. Well, anyway, shoot, we gotta go. Come on. Whoa, jeez, you LA chicks are so aggressive. Save it for the movie and watch the hair. Jeez. Here, get in there. Wow, that was awesome. That was a good movie. Well, what do you want to do now? Oh, I get it. I'm the guy, so I've got to make all the plans. That's okay. Um, how about, oh, how about my friend Doug? We can meet my friend Doug. We'll go to his place. You're going to love him. We're sorry. Due to telephone company facility trouble, your call cannot be completed at this time. Will you try your call? Wow, again? weird. Huh. Well, maybe he didn't pay his cell phone bill. That's okay. We can just drive over there. I would like to speak to my lawyer. You know you have the right to a lawyer. You don't have to do that forced Jedi mind trick thing. So what exactly are you accusing my client of? Well, some people witnessed him at a party and allegedly he cut someone's head off. Now, I'm not saying that he did it, just maybe kind of sort of he did it. That's ridiculous. You have no murder weapon. Do you have a motive? Yes.
That's right, there's no escape. Hey, Harris, what's up, man? Ah, Investigator Jansen, thanks for gracing me with your presence this afternoon. Hey, man, better late than never, right? Hey, I bought fucking donuts, dude. Donuts, that's not a cop cliche. A cliche? Dude, who doesn't like donuts, man? I don't like donuts. You have no soul, then. Maybe you're right. How's the new girlfriend doing, John? Okay, now you're just getting personal there. Well then, let's talk case files. What you got? You got donuts, I got marshmallows. Marshmallows? Laced marshmallows. They're lacing the friggin' marshmallows. Kids are lacing everything these days except their tennis shoes. <laughs> let's take a walk, I'll tell you all about it. Sounds good, man. So a couple weeks ago, I started coming across these dirty marshmallows in the streets. I start looking into it, I find this informant. Says she knows a little bit about it, knows a dealer, is willing to help me out. Who you got? The informant's name is Veronica Lopez. Small time, been in and out of a juvie, jail since she was a teen. I picked her up, said she knew some information, was willing to help me out. Thought I'd bring you in and help me out. Hey, cool man, let's do this. Alright, let's go meet her. Stay with her. 